Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning Hey Jude by the Beatles. The verse sounds just like this. Alright, let's get straight into the breakdown. We're in the key of F major and we're going to be playing predominantly in this lower register down here. We've got four chords to look at for part one. Our first chord is an F major. That's octave Fs in the left hand, F, A, C and F in the right hand. Our second chord is a C7 chord, that's octave C's in the left hand, E, G, B flat and C in the right hand. Our third chord is very similar, it's a C7 sus4, it looks just like this. That's octave C's in the left hand, G, B flat, C and F. In the right hand. Our final chord is a simple B flat major chord. It looks just like this. That's octave B flats in the left hand, F, B flat, D, and F in the right hand. All right, let's quickly recap those chords and then we'll take a look at the rhythm. We've got F major. C7, C7 sus4, and our B flat major chord to lead us back to F. All right, now let's take a look at the rhythm of the verse. As I say, we'll be playing predominantly down here. We're going to start on an F major chord. We're going to start with the rhythm in the right hand. The right hand will simply be playing on the beat almost all the time. So that's one, two, three, four. The left hand will be doing almost the opposite. We're going to play in this pattern and the left hand will be the same throughout the song. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you see there that we're playing on beat one and then on all of the ands, and two, and three, and four, and keeping that bottom note held down the whole time. Let's see that hands together for our first bar of F major. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, now we're going to shift to our C7 chord. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the first three beats. One and two and three and. Beat four is slightly different. In the right hand, we're going to go four and one. But the left hand just stays the same. We're going to play on the and of beat four. So let's break that right hand down a little. On beat four, we're going to be playing a C major chord in first inversion. That's E, G, and C. And then we're going to shift up. So on and, we're playing our standard F major chord, F, A, C. And then on beat one of the next bar, we're playing G, B flat, and C. All together, 
we have All right, our next bar, we're going to move to C7 sus4, starting on beat 2 of that bar. So beat 1, we're down here. We're playing just G, B flat and C. 1 and 2. So on beat 2, we're shifting up to that C7 sus4. And 3 and 4 and... And then on beat 4... We change back to our F major chord. One and two and three and four and. Let's quickly recap those first four bars, and then we'll move on and look at the next one. Shifting down here to our C7. And then we come up here to our C7 sus4. Finally, back to F. The next section, we're going to play our B flat major chord. We're going to shift the fingering here in the right hand. You might find it more comfortable to play with finger four, or you can use finger three for the D here. And we're going to play the exact same pattern that we've been playing before. One and two and three and four and. Then we shift down to F again. One and two and three and four and we come down to our C7. One and two and three and four and then back to F for four. One and two and three and four and. And that's the whole first version through of the verse. All you have to do now is go back to the beginning and play everything we've just played, excluding that last bar of F major. So, imagining that you've gone through, you've done that, we're now back here. Two and three and four and. So the first time through, we played four beats of F major. Now we're going to play three beats of F major and then play something slightly different in the right hand. We're going to play one and two and three and. Then we're going to play this. So. As before, the left hand is exactly the same, just playing on the AND of 4, but the right hand is slightly different. We start here, on an F and first inversion, that's A, C and F. Then on the AND, we bring that down to an A minor chord, A, C and E. And then on beat 1 of the next bar, we're going to play A, C and E flat, an A diminished chord, with an F in the bass. So, let's see that final bar in action one more time. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. And that leads us into the chorus, which we'll cover in the next section. Now, let's hear it at full speed one more time, so that you can see how the whole verse fits together, including that repeat. And that's all there is to the first verse of Hey Jude. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to see the rest, head over to musicgreatness.com where you can find all of our courses. I've been your tutor Mark, thank you.